Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Wednesday 11th, September 2024, Wednesday of week 23 in ordinary time. Whenever anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. Subscribe to the channel to follow the next Masses. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, today we commemorate John Chrysostom. And when we look at the life of this saint, we realize that he had great love for scriptures. And he had the great gift of communicating Christ's message to others. For the times we have failed to show our love for the word of God. And for the times we have failed to communicate it through our lives. Let's humbly ask Lord's pardon. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, Strength of those who hope in you, who will that the bishop, St. Joseph Chrysostom, should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering. Grant, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, may be strengthened through example of invincible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Put to death, then, the parts of you that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. By these, you too once conducted yourselves when you lived in that way. But now you must put them all away, anger, fury, malice, slander, and obscene language out of your mouths. Stop lying to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices, and have put on the new self, which is being renewed for knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave-free, but Christ is all and in all. The Word 
of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. Every day will I bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works, making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. Together, rejoice and leap for joy. Your reward will be great in heaven. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Raising his eyes towards his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But, O oh, to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. O oh, to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. O oh, to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. O oh, to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as I mentioned in the introduction, today we commemorate the Saint John Chrysostom. He was born in the year 347 in Antioch. Unfortunately, at a very young age, he lost his dad. But his mother spared no effort in sending him to good schools for education and ensuring that he turns out to be a fine person. Later, he decided to be a monk and he was known for his love of scriptures and for his wonderful teaching. In fact, they say, that many would flock to the church just to listen to his 
homily such was his eloquence in preaching later on he had this opportunity to be the bishop but those years in the early times the church was very intensely involved with the politics of the time and he realized that if he becomes bishop unwillingly he will have to also get into the politics of the nation of the king etc and he wanted to stay out of it but he had no option he was forced from different angles and he became the bishop but what is interesting is after he became the bishop we can relate it to today's gospel he decided to be true prophet not false prophet he decided to live a life of truth he decided to speak his mind of what he was convinced of so the first thing he realized within the church that many of those positions which were there those years were given out on based on money and this was absolutely evil this was absolutely wrong so he started correcting his own clergy in the diocese his own priest mentioning to them that it is not correct second he realized that there were a lot of flaws in the marriage people were not faithful to their partners they were getting married more than once twice etc and then he started correcting them about the marriage the sacrament of marriage and finally he started correcting the wealthy because the wealthy those years were not generous enough in sharing their wealth with the church and the poor as time passed by he became very infamous especially people of his time did not like him because he spoke the truth he lived by the truth his example was that of truth we can go on speaking a lot of things about john chrysostom but i want to ask you and also to me one question when was the last time that somebody insulted us spoke evil against us spoke bad against us because we stood up for truth when was the last time that we were challenged by somebody not because of our own fault that is different if we were spoken ill about if we were challenged by somebody because we did a mistake that is another thing altogether but when was the last time that because we stood for christ because we spoke the truth because we had the courage to stand up for what is right we were challenged and spoken evil about many of us choose the second half of today's gospel which is the most convenient we speak what others want to listen we behave how others want us to see we behave in non threatening way and consequences of all this is one single thing we compromise on truth we fail to live our life for christ and john chrysostom and the gospel of today challenges you and challenges me as well do we have the courage to stand for what is truth do we have the courage to stand for christ teaching and first follow it ourselves by a good example and then in the situation and people around us let's pray for this grace that you and i may have this grace saint john bosco rich and poor alike god calls us together as sons and daughters of the kingdom let us pray to the father with sincere hearts let our response after every intercession be lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer that under persecution the church may hold fast to the faith and bring people together 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor and the hungry may receive their fill through the sincere efforts of our leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That believers who are hated, insulted, rejected, and abused may rejoice in the comfort of the kingdom awaiting them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the elderly may feel secure by our love and care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may obtain the Lord's mercy through the help of our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. Let us now in the silence of our heart Place before the Lord all our personal intentions, all the graces that we stand in need of, our family stands in need of. Let's remember to pray for ourselves and our family members, that God may bless each one of us with good health, may keep us far away from all sickness, all that is evil, all that is troubling us. Let's remember to pray for our parents, for our children especially those of our parents' children who are out of the country, that God may be with them, bless them, protect them. And for all the other intentions that we have close to our heart, the Lord reminds us, ask and you will receive. And therefore, in the silence of our heart, let us place all these petitions on this holy altar. Almighty God, hear our prayers. Let our lives proclaim the happiness to which you have called us. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless thy Lord God of all creation. For through goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the field, work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless thy Lord God of all creation. For through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine, work of the human hands. It will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. May this sacrifice, O Lord, be pleasing in your sight this day as we humbly offer it. Pray, dear friends, this sacrifice of yours and mine may be acceptable to Lord God the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present in the commemoration of St. John.
Chrysostom, Be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him, we to give ourselves entirely to you in praise, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For on the feast day of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice. So too strength by her example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep us safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We are about to begin the most holy part of this Eucharist. If there is some special intention that you are praying for, offer it to the Lord on this holy altar and pray that God will hear your prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on each one of us gathered here this afternoon, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint John Chrysostom, and all the saints you have done your will throughout the ages. Merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him. O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever.
God is our provident father. He loves us, he cares for us. And he always listens to our prayer. And therefore, for all the intentions that we have close to our heart, that God may hear our prayer, let's pray to the Father with firm confidence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you, Spirit. Let us now, with a smile on our face, greet one another with Lord's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamp of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. It is the same Lord who challenges each one of us to live our lives by truth and to live our lives for His sake. Happy are those who are called to the supper of this Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body and breath. me for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, the dismissories which we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Sadon Bosco Messiah. Sama Sama. <laughs>
name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children, to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Novena Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, From the cross Jesus gave you to us for our Mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, Help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender, motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves His Church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. 
Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians where our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Thanksgiving Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us, 
as the greatest expression of His love, to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through the novena, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love. To the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Sick Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul, so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.